Notre Dame comes away with a home opening victory over Michigan 24 to 17. It sounds like it was close. It really wasn't. Notre Dame was up by double digits almost 50 minutes in this game. Shut down the Michigan running game to 58 yards and did just enough offensively, especially early on, led by Brandon Wimbush, to come away with the seven-point victory. Yeah, I think people came to see a defense, the wrong one showed up. Basically, I mean, this they, they handled Michigan throughout this game. It was a really bad special teams mistake, allowed Michigan to have hope in the game, to stay in the game. And honestly, if it's if it's 24-3 to instead of 24-10 at the end, there there is just, there's going to be no life. But they're going to have to shore that up. It's it's. Special teams have been a problem for a long time, but the defense played great tonight. Uh, I'm not sure what Michigan's offense has to offer, but Notre Dame handled everything they had tonight. Brandon Wimbush played outstanding, especially in the first half when he was 10 for 15. He clearly is Notre Dame's best running back. I think Notre Dame has found another running back in Jafar Armstrong. And oh, by the way, Tony Jones Jr. looks pretty quick when, when he has some competition for the spot. But Wimbush with his feet, with his arm, but you know, even some of the plays he made with his arm were first created with his feet. Yeah, it's people wonder about why anybody that wonder the offseason why Brandon Wimbush should be the starter. Well, you see it there. It's you take a sack, he rips off a twenty two yard run. He's just he's a special runner when he's not playing the eleven fastest guys in the world on the other side of the ball defensively and he's gonna make these plays all year. He had a great start because that's what they need from Brandon Wimbush is hit a couple of those easy throws and then trust your receivers a few times downfield. And you know what? A regression to the mean a little bit when all of a sudden he's going to end up being a 50% passer in one of his better days. But Brandon Wimbush deserved the game ball. He was for 35 minutes the best player on the field, and it wasn't even close. He doesn't need to be a 60% passer in order to be effective. We've talked about 54 55%, and with his feet, he's outstanding. Jumping back to the defense, defensive line absolutely dominated the Michigan offensive line. We mentioned, I think we mentioned in the pregame, that the, and I'd certainly during the week of our podcast, that that was a op- huge opportunity for Notre Dame to take advantage of, of a weak offensive line. I think that Michigan offensive line was worse than we anticipated. Yeah, and if Wimbush was the best player for a while, that – defensive line was the best unit by far well both defensive lines were really good but Notre Dame's defensive line came to play the whole day it was an interesting comment by Brian Kelly after the game saying that we're not going to recruit that singular great player but we can develop a lot of really good ones well if you keep developing guys like Khalid Kareem and Julian Aquara the way they looked in this game that, that they have a nice rotation on the outside a solid rotation inside and I think Jerry Tillery is going to continue sure. to make plays Tillery, Tillery played very well also how about Alohi Gilman uh, I mean what a difference Notre Dame at safety last year, seventh and eighth on the team. They're two safeties and tackles. Not that you can measure everything by tackles, but your safeties need to be around the football. Lohi Gilman was around the football right from the very beginning. We use the word edge with Gilman, and I think it fits. I think Brian Kelly's used it since. Um, I wanted to see him in coverage. He looked awfully good in coverage today. He made a, he made a third down pass break. He had a couple of PBUs on the day. It's he just He's a confident player. Um, he's a smart player, and he's an aggressive player. And the, the safeties will be upgraded. They already have been just from today. But I, I expect them to have – a quality season. Um, I don't know if they're a bust. We'll have to watch it again. But, you know, Jalen Elliott comes in with a big hit as well. I mean, they, they just play a confident style of football now. Great start to the 2018 season. It's Notre Dame 24, Michigan 17.